Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup and skincare three times a week, every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 8 a.m. Mountain Center time. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. This video is in partnership with Glowish, but it is an unsponsored review. We are going to be doing a two week trial on the Ren Clean Skincare Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. So I am very excited to try this out. I have in fact never tried anything from Ren Skincare and I'm definitely really excited to put this to the test. And I want to let you guys know that Glowish is also hosting a mini giveaway over on their channel. So if you go over to the video I did over on the Glowish channel, subscribe to the channel as well as leave a comment under that video, you will have a chance to win your very own Ren Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. Now, overall, I really am into chemical exfoliators. I definitely prefer them over a physical exfoliator, especially for my acne prone skin. So I'm definitely excited to put this one to the test. We are going to be doing a two week skincare trial on this product, testing it out, giving you guys my first impressions and my results, and really taking you through the whole process of testing out this product. So let's get right on into it. Oh, you tell me stories. You took me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters in my sheets all right, so let's see what this product is really about. Um, so it retails for $76. Wow, that is a very pricey for a um, mask. That is kind of insane. Overall, this is supposed to brighten the skin and you're supposed to get that tightened but glowing look to your skin. Is this supposed to be like a facelift in a mask? We'll have to see. It contains all natural fruit derived acids to help smooth the skin's texture as well as give it firmness, even the skin tone, and kind of restore the skin's natural glow. So we have a blend of glycolic, galactic, and citric acid as well as tartaric acid to make up this glycol lactic radiance renewal mask which is going to gently exfoliate while reducing the look of fine lines and wrinkles this is described as a cult favorite exfoliating mask so i'm definitely excited to try it like what is the hype about is this mask really worth 76 dollars it claims to be for normal dry combination or oily skin so really anyone can use this and overall it's supposed to help with dark spots dullness and kind of loss of firmness and elasticity i have been struggling with acne for seven years and with that has come a lot of acne scarring with a product like this i would be looking for it to help with that pigmentation and kind of renewing the skin to kind of diminish the appearance of my acne scars and looking closer at the ingredients you know we have that glycolic acid derived from pineapple extract which glycolic acid is an aha that will gently but effectively exploit the skin we have lactic acid from passion fruit which is going to smooth and refine the skin's texture i personally love lactic acid for my skin we also have Papin from Papaya. This is going to further remove those dead cells, rejuvenate the skin, and overall give that skin that radiance that we are all looking for. Now, this product is suggested to be used once a week, so that's what we will be doing with any type of chemical exfoliator. You do want to make sure you're using it not only properly, but the suggested amount of time too, because if you don't, you can definitely risk getting a chemical burn or a bad skin reaction so please 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 be following instructions and listen to how your skin is feeling as well so overall i think we've kind of heard enough so let's open it up the box comes with the product right here just in a plastic pump container and it also comes with a little towel which we will get to using in a bit so I'm gonna go remove my makeup, get my face all nice and clean, and we are going to go in with this Radiance Renewal Mask. All right guys, so now my skin is all clean and we are ready to apply the exfoliant. I just wanna let you know what the skin situation is like right now. So I do have some scarring. These all are actually scars, none of them are active. This one is in the healing process and some scars over here. So we're gonna see what this mask kind of does to kind of renew that. I do have a bit of texture right now on my forehead. Um, so we're gonna see how smooth and how well this does at helping with a uh, pigmentation as well. So let's open it up. This is probably like five bucks right here. 
So it says to apply a generous amount onto the face and neck. I'm gonna do just my face today for filming purposes. Ooh, okay, it has like a honey consistency almost. Do you guys see that? And it smells very sweet and florally, but there's no artificial fragrance in here. It smells like dessert. That's what it smells like. So I'm gonna apply this to the face. Yeah, this feels like I'm rubbing like honey or like, you know what? It feels like Vaseline almost. Like a thick jelly, sticky texture. This actually feels kind of nice. I'm gonna apply a bit more. just feels like I put like Vaseline on right now. It's not stinging or irritating the skin so far. All right guys, so now that this is applied, it says to leave on for 10 minutes. It's still not burning or stinging or anything like that. Some of the exploiting masks I've used in the past, you know, I can really feel them right away. It only has been around two minutes, but um, I'm gonna keep waiting the 10. I feel like a glazed donut right now. Um, and I will be back in just a few minutes. All right guys, so it has officially been 10 minutes and let me just say my skin doesn't feel irritated, stinging, nothing. It honestly feels like I have just like petroleum jelly all over my face. So that's kind of nice, didn't irritate me at all. I feel like we've already used so much of the product though, which is kind of crazy since this is so expensive. Uh, so it says to dampen the cloth that you're given. It's like kind of a thin cloth, so I'm gonna go dampen it. And it says to use this to remove the mask. So let's do that. They probably want you to use a cloth to kind of act kind of like a physical exfoliator and be able to get the mask off since it's so sticky. You'd probably spend like years washing your face. Ooh. So I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna go rinse my face. All right, so I just washed the mask off and I just put the cloth that is given to dry and I just rinsed it off. The mask was pretty easy to rinse off after we kind of used that cloth to get the majority off. I will say though, the cloth was a little rough for my liking since I do have pretty sensitive skin, but I feel like they made it that way to kind of maybe reinforce um, what this mask is supposed to do and make sure you can actually get it off easier. Overall, my skin does feel super smooth right now. It's not at all red or irritated. Um, it just kind of needs a moisturizer, but I do like that, that it's not like too intense on the skin, but I still feel like it exfoliated nicely um, and it didn't do like nothing to the skin. So it definitely did exfoliate. It feels very nice and soft and smooth. And I do feel like it does look pretty bright, which is nice as opposed to like red and sensitive. So that's always a good sign. So um, that is it for the first impressions. Um, this is the first day of using this mask and I will use it weekly. So I will see you guys at the end of the week. All right guys, so I'm here to give you my one week thoughts on the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. So, so far, you know, based on the first time I used this, I really enjoyed it. I think it did a good job smoothing out, exfoliating my skin without doing too much. Um, so that was really nice. It was a great experience in the formula and it's definitely something that I would continue to use right now. My skin was pretty soft after using this, but it is now the next week and I wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit and do a um, sort of challenge with this video. So we're going to be doing a half and half a face comparison to, you know, really test out the limits of this product and see, is it really worth $76 and does it really do everything it claims? So I'm going to be talking about three different products here that I feel like maybe compare to this product that you could maybe try out instead or I see as not direct dupes, but definitely similar products. Um, and then we are going to be using one of those products on half my face today and then the red product on the other half and see the difference. So the first product I'm gonna talk about is the Ordinary AHA 30% and BHA 2% Peeling Solution. Now this is a 10 minute exfoliating facial. So similarly to the Ren one, they're both going to exfoliate the skin in 10 minutes and you should probably not wear it longer than that. Now this is a blend of AHA and BHA, whereas this one is only AHAs since it does have the glycolic acid and the lactic acid. 
both of which are AHAs. So this one does have that added BHA in here. It does look like blood as well when you actually apply it. Now for me, this one is a little too sensitizing for my very sensitive and dry skin. I do prefer something a little bit more on the mild side. Um, and between these two, I do think this one is more mild and maybe not as sensitizing as this one right here but that is um, definitely two products that I do find pretty similar um, as far as how long you can wear them and what they are supposed to do. Next product I wanna talk about is the Ordinary Lactic Acid, and this one I wanted to compare since these both are lactic acid containing products. This one has it at 10%, and then lactic acid, of course, is one of the main ingredients in here. Now, there are some differences in these. This is more of a serum type product, an exfoliant that you apply and it's a leave-on exfoliant. So you can apply this at night, leave it on till the morning and you're good to go. Whereas this is that wash off treatment that you leave on for only 10 minutes. So that's the real clear difference between these ones. This one does have hyaluronic acid in it as well. And it's another great option for sensitive skin. It's one of my favorite um, chemical exfoliants. And I really enjoy lactic acid for my dry skin as well. So this one is a winner for me. And definitely if you're looking for a product with lactic acid like this one maybe um you know not in that mask form but will give you some of those exfoliating results with that lactic acid this is a good one to try and last but not least this is the one we're actually going to be doing the side-by-side -side comparison with because it's actually pretty comparable and that is the banish pumpkin enzyme mask so this one is a little bit more on the inexpensive side. It retails for $39, whereas the other two from the ordinary retail in between like $5 to $15. So definitely more on the affordable side. But this one right here is formulated with natural pumpkin enzymes. And from that, we see those AHAs. So we see glycolic acid in here, which is an exfoliant that of course will improve that skin texture, just like this product claims. We also have vitamin C in here, which is an antioxidant to brighten the skin. So we don't have that lactic acid in here, but as far as results, you are going to see pretty similar things. And this one is amazing for acne. It has some of those acne targeting ingredients that I really enjoy. And this one you are supposed to wear on the skin for 10 to 15 minutes. So pretty similar. So let's get into this half and half comparison. And I'm going to go ahead and use my fingers, generous amount, just like last time. And we're going to apply the oh my god this smells literally like a cake again <laughs> now for the banished pumpkin enzyme mask another similarity is the color this one has that orange color perfect for the fall and this one has more of that like puree texture almost all right guys, so here is the Ren mask on this side and the Banish mask on this side. I am going to wait the 10 minutes. Overall, you know, the, um, the texture is a little bit different. We have more of that um, honey-like cream consistency on this side, whereas we have the more puree consistency over here. But we're gonna see, you know, what kind of results we can get from this side-by-side -side comparison. So I'm gonna wait the 10 minutes and I'll see you guys later. All right guys, so I just washed off both masks and honestly my skin feels really smooth on both sides um neither one side or the other is more sensitive you know i think all in all they are both two masks that are able to give me that great exfoliation help with my acne and acne scars without being too sensitizing so overall i would say this is a pretty good comparison you know um this one is a very different consistency and we also have the lactic acid in here so other than the glycolic acid they are pretty different but they're both AHA masks um, that you leave on for 10 minutes and are supposed to help with your skin's glow. I do have a bit more redness on this side but I think that's also from using that cloth to take it off which adds a bit of a physical exfoliating factor to this side as well. Overall right now just between what I've tried most I would say the Banish is my favorite just because I've used it a bunch. I love the ingredients in here and I love how it makes my skin feel. This one you know it is pretty nice so far I would have to say they're comparable in my mind but just because I've been using this one longer I would have to call it the winner since I know the results it gives me this one though I am excited to keep on using keep on experimenting with though I'm gonna keep testing this out and I'll see you guys next week
All right, guys, so we have finally reached week two of testing out the Ren Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. I'm going to be applying it for the last time for this video today, um, as it has been a week since we last used it, at least on half of our face. As far as my skin, all these actives I had around my chin have calmed down. The only one I have is this one right here. But I feel like my skin is overall pretty smooth. I haven't had, like, really any um dry patches or flakiness that i would really need to exploit so i feel like this has been doing a good job i will mention though we kind of have gone through a bit of the product and again this is not the most inexpensive product let's go ahead and apply this i do like the experience of using it and my skin always feels soft after so I'm excited to use it again today for like dry skin having those AHAs in there that can also act as humectants are kind of nice even though it's in like a wash off treatment but it always feels nice applying it. So I'm going to wait for this to stay on my skin for 10 minutes and I will be right back. Alright guys, so I just finished taking the mask off. My hair is wet because I just washed it, so don't mind that. So now it is time to talk about my final thoughts on this product. Overall, you know, I really enjoyed it. I think it's definitely a different type of exfoliating mask um, than I've tried before. I think if you have more dry skin, something like this with that lactic acid and um, glycolic acid might be good, especially if you have dehydrated skin, as these can act as like a great humectant that will help draw moisture from the environment into your skin so i think it might be a good option in that sense i also like how it's fairly gentle on my skin um today i couldn't leave it on for the full 10 after about like seven minutes my skin was starting to feel like okay let's get this off and for me i think the biggest thing that i did not love as much was the removal process involving the cloth so with the cloth i found that it was a little too rough on the skin um i wish the cloth wasn't as um rough and didn't do as much physical exfoliating as it does i wish it was just something that could help take off this product but at the same time i understand they had to make it more um rough in order to remove this so i wish there was a difference there because i feel like you know having that physical exfoliator with this chemical exfoliator kind of is too much for my skin i wish it was just the chemical exfoliator just because i do prefer that but overall my skin has been super smooth um no dry patches or anything like that it's just been really smooth and i feel like doing something like this once a week is a really great upkeep to just kind of smooth out your skin brighten it up um you know just kind of exploit that top layer of the skin and this is definitely one that i think did that well and did it without being over stripping or over exfoliating to the skin. So overall, I would give this about a three and a half out of five. I feel like I'd give it a four if it wasn't for that cloth, um, but I know like I can definitely use something else and I don't have to use the cloth they give me. I'm just strictly reviewing the product though so we're gonna base it off of that um you know i would maybe bump up the points too if it was a little bit less expensive just because affordable skincare is super super important to me so in a way do i think it's worth the hype yes and no if you are wanting to buy a more expensive skincare product and with this you know you're only using it once a week so you're not using it every single day it might be something you might want to spend your money on um since you know it's kind of that once a week nice treatment it has a very luxurious feel it has that sensorial experience with how the texture is so if that's what you're into i would definitely recommend this product but if you're simply looking for a good chemical exfoliator and you don't want to spend this much i do think there are other options out there like some of the ones i mentioned earlier so it really depends on you whether i would recommend this product to you or not um, but those are kind of my thoughts so that is all for this two-week trial guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to also check out this review on the glowish channel as it is uploaded on there as well but if you enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video if you want to see more of my content i will list all my skincare trials down below in the description and i am now a host on the acne channel so you can find weekly videos of me on there for more daily content you can follow my instagram and TikTok at Lavinia Rosanda. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, you tell me stories. You talk me in. And the second you leave, I
call you right back to check for monsters in my streets.